Hey guys, what's up? Zoraki X01 here, and the title of the screen kind of faded away very quickly. But we're in Assassin's Creed 3. I know what some of you are thinking. This is an Assassin's Creed Revelation, and you're correct. It is not Assassin's Creed Revelation. It's a better game in some aspects. All right, here's the thing. If some of you watched my Far Cry 4 Let's Play, the last res uh, session I did, which I guess you'll have to wait till the end, because I think at the end I actually talk about and do the, f you know, the coin flip. But I've been doing the same where I let fate decide sometimes when I play a game or not. Especially usually with, a, say, a Telltale game, like the Game of Thrones one. And so, I wasn't enjoying Assassin's Creed Revelation. And understandably, because it's gotten very bad reviews. And even most Let's Players don't like it either. So, I decided I'm going to flip a coin. If it landed on heads, I'll go to Assassin's Creed 3. But once I finish Assassin's Creed 3 and Assassin's Creed 4, I will go back and beat Revelation. Record it and all without a problem. If it landed on tails, I'll just beat Assassin's Creed Revelation. I'll just stomach through it. So... I, I should really move this before it, uh, you know, does its whole thing. So, that's why I decided I flipped the coin. It came up heads one time. So I was like, okay, I want to do it again, just to, you know, just to do it. So, also, because I, uh, I also forgot what I, uh, which one I labeled as heads and tails. So I flipped the game, came up heads, Assassin's Creed 3. Here we are. Sorry. Alright, so, uh... We're going to get into this. We're, going, we're not going to skip this game and go to Assassin's Creed 4 because it's basically the same game except different characters, different settings. So, maybe it isn't the same game. We're also going to do the DLC, The Tyranny of King Washington, after the game. So, we're going to beat the game, then we're going to go do the DLC. Like usual. Alright, uh, let's get to the story. Start a new game. Desmond? No, we are not Desmond at all. Fuck Desmond. Rocky X01. It used to be when people talked about the end of the world, we locked them up. Or laughed them off. Sometimes both. But we never took them seriously. Maybe we should have. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Better to start at the beginning, with the abduction of Desmond Miles, my son. This boy had no ambition, no direction, no plans for the future. What he did have was a heritage, one he chose to deny. It nearly cost him his life. He was captured and imprisoned. Those who took him believed he could help them find something. The apple. One of several artifacts we call pieces of Eden. Bits of ancient technology scattered across the globe. Some hidden, some found. Uh, there's Chesra. Dangerous. Most are held by a single group. The Ew, look at that face. Now had Desmond. You know them as Abstergo Industries. We know them as the Templars. As the enemy. We've been fighting them for thousands of years. Even longer if you believe the stories of their origins. I do. After all, I've seen the truth. That's the beauty and the horror of the Animus. A device that allows us to enter and experience the lives of our ancestors. It holds the power to change everything. To show us history the way it really happened. Up until its creation, to the victor went the spoils, went the truth. We're trying to fix that, to free minds and bodies both. But there's only so much that we can do, and the Templars have the upper hand these days. But something larger than the Assassins and Templars is approaching, bigger than all of us. And if we can't find a way to stop it, these next few weeks will probably be our last. Everyone's last. In the end, it all comes down to him, to Desmond. Through the Animus, he discovered his heritage, explored the lives of his ancestors, and uncovered their secrets. When that was done, he trained. Uh, there's he used another ancestor to provide decades of experience in the span of a few days. It worked. We think. We hope. Soon, though, soon we'll know that ominous date fast approaches, December 21st, 2012. None of us knows what it'll bring, only that this is where they want us to be when it does. They've been guiding us in their own 
fractured, frustrating way. These voices from the first civilization, the ones who came before, a precursor race of immense power and uncertain motives, they're the ones who made the pieces of Eden. This is where they've led him, and through him, us. He stands at the entrance to this long lost place, armed with the knowledge of Altair and the abilities of Ezio. He holds in his hands the apple of Eden, and we stand at his side, ready to support him however we can. His name is Desmond Miles, and he has brought us to the end. See, I don't get that whole like 12, 12, 12 thing. Or the 21, 12, 12 thing. Or wasn't that a thing back then, too? Yeah, I remember people being freaked out about it. And then when it came to that date, people weren't freaked out about it. We're here. Wouldn't it be more ominous to be 12, 12, 12, like 12 midnight, the final start to a new day? Or am I just crazy when I'm thinking about that? This game looks pretty good on the PC, actually. I'm as blown away, blown away as when I was with Assassin's Creed uh, Brotherhood. Let's go. You want me to help the boxes at all? I mean, you're letting the woman carry it. I mean, that's a little rude, gentlemen. Okay, you're not. All right. Let's get back in it already. I'm. Well, I already know I like this game. I like it for the timeline, really. I mean, it's got its faults, and I'll point out the faults that I don't like, but I really like it for the timeline. Oh, here we go. Where are we? In Philadelphia? Fuckers just come in here and graffiti shit. Is that blood? I don't know. It's cave paintings. Never mind. I like how they like, look at this interesting art made by a civilization that's almost dead. Let's just graffiti over it. Assholes. It's not right, Pook. What, what is that word? It's Pook. What the fuck? In another moment, down went Alice after it, never once considering how in the world she was to get out again. That reminds me, I gotta go back to Alice Madness Returns. Thanks, Sean. with credit frame rates come on that's me you gotta help him a little bit man this is fucking dark oh wait what the fuck all right that's annoying um we're a nice jumpsuit by the way girls looking fresh Here. Where's here exactly? I guess that would be explained in Assassin's Creed Revelation. So I can figure out what's where. No. Huh. Uh, don't come down here. Are you not? Are you gonna warn them that they shouldn't come down here because they'll slip and fall? And your father's like, I don't know. It looks maybe late fifties. Maybe. Guess for the gray. Um, well, at 60 doesn't have that much gray. Can you... What? Can I like... Oh. Alright. I'm like, how do I run? The running... That's a weird running. I hope that's only for Desmond. Or is that just like... Or are the controls fucked up again like Assassin's Creed 2?
key. You must find the key. Son? Sir? <clears throat> Here we go again. Wait, you had enough time to see the... All right. Do you hear us? Uh, yeah. What happened? Ooh, the temple triggered movement. a beating effect. You collapsed and entered into a fugue state. So naturally, you dropped me into the animus. Yeah, what is it? Oh, yeah. I don't know. Making sure I was okay. You weren't in any danger. Besides, the temple appeared to be communicating with you. And I didn't want to risk severing the connection. At least not until we knew what it wanted. Right. Of course. Son, I... No, it's fine. I get it. And I know what I'm looking for, by the way. It's a key. There's no idea where it is, though. I guess that's why she triggered the bleeding effect. She? Juno, Dad. She's... talking to me. Oh. Okay, Desmond, while you were, uh, visiting Constantinople, we picked up a software update for the Animus. I'd like to run a couple of quick tests, make sure there aren't any major issues. All right. What do you need me to do? We'll start simple. Walk to the marker over there. Oh, well, I'm gonna run instead of walk. Okay, so that is for the whole base game, all right. Okay, Desmond, let's practice climbing on these objects. Oh, this isn't... Okay, I think I remember this now. It's been like three years since I've played this game. Alright, I remember this now. It's no longer like the hold button for something. Like, I don't have to hold it and sprint. Like, I don't have to hold, like, right bumper and then A for sprint. Run your way through this little obstacle. This is a lot more, uh, it's a lot better than, uh, the pressing const- like, multiple buttons. That's a constraint. These are optional objectives that raise your synchronization rate. Alright, Desmond, follow the on-screen instructions and kill the two Templars. Alright. I- what'd I kill him with? My fist? I'm gonna be like- oh, no! No! I'm just gonna fail this. I have to at least get one thing right. Also, that wasn't fair at all. This is, uh... I'm trying to remember the problems I had with this game. Oh. Hopefully now I like, won't get as stuck on things as like I did in a Assassin's Creed uh, 2 and Brotherhood and stuff like that. Uh, she said, oh, I was about to say, she said jump the gap. Oh my god, people, stop texting me. Man, look at this. I'm blazing through this except for that one thing where I... I don't remember Ezio moving like this exactly. Ezio didn't move this, uh... Cleanly. Okay, what... I'm like, what are you doing exactly? Synchronization levels look good now. We should be able to build the world. Time to find out what the temple wants from you. I'm a slightly very bigger man than I was. You'd think he'd be a little freaked out that the world's building itself. Sir. Everything all right, sir? Yes. Fine. I'm just preoccupied, that's all. Don't forget your invitation. Master Birch will be meeting you inside. Thank you. Where shall I retrieve you once you're done? Front of the Opera House. And be quick about it. Don't expect to be here long. I'll bring her round at once. 
All right, looks like we're getting the show on the road. Deadly performance. Invitation, please. Here's my hat, bitch.